look at that view. It, it, is that a kid? Wake up. It is. Uh, what? But, uh, what? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. You're the what? I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. Yeah. No. The Citadel is part of me. I need to it's stop the Reapers. part of you. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are Do my what? solution. A solution. Solution to what exactly? Solution? To what? To destroying organics? Chaos. Just... Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No, we harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. What purpose? We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. You I are... think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. <sighs> so the Procyon was correct. There was a higher being behind all of this. Behind the Reapers. And it is... Catalyst? But what exactly are you then? You said you're the Catalyst. What are you? Who? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. To control the By entire who? Reaper force. By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. That's evolution. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers. Indeed. Precisely. Oh, so what exactly are the Reapers then, except for your means to create your vision of order? Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. And what happened to your creators? They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. Huh. You said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics either. to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To okay, those limits, but synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. How? Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. I 
don't see how. I mean, look at the Geth and the Quarians. They are working together now. The Geth are evolved. They surpassed their creators. But they are in peace. The conflicts are not everlasting. This, on the other hand, is an endless cycle of conflict between the Reapers, which are synthetics, the organics that uplift synthetics and the synthetics that are created by those organics. There might be a period of peace, but in the end, life gets destroyed. Evolution is restricted to the time periods of when the reapers come in to harvest. Life can never truly keep evolving this way. And how is this not a conflict? We're at war with the reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. Indeed. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. You do what you're programmed like a to. Cleansing fire, at we any cost. Balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. That's it. He... He just does what he's programmed to do. Bring order, but in a way that, well, in the way that he's programmed to. And saying that fire destroys anything in its path is also wrong. Without fire, there would be no life. It's that simple. Without fire, there would be no heat. Without heat, life could not evolve. <sighs> Without fire, we couldn't have cooked food, we couldn't have resisted or, or developed ways to counter hurt harmful bacteria, we wouldn't have, we would have starved, we would have been destroyed by infections, by, it's not true, there is destruction, destruction to rebuild is one way, but it's a limiting way. It is determined by the one that is destroying. In essence, there is no life. There is no evolution in the universe. It is just this construct. This construct determining how long everyone lives. And then harvesting them to create these reapers. But what are the reapers? Their sole purpose is this. Their sole purpose is to do nothing until it is time for the next harvest. This isn't life. This is what they're programmed to do. How about the crucible what do you then? Know about the crucible? The device you refer to as the crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the citadel and the relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. The galaxy? It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Wait, with Who the designs? relays. 
you would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device Why several not? cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. But it wasn't. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. Your intentions. Your plan is falling apart. <laughs> you have no idea what real life is. You will never understand us. Organic life is that we think for ourselves, make our own choices. Exactly. We take that away, and we might as well be machines, just like you. He's making you decisions have for everyone. More than you know. The fact that you were standing oh, really? here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? <laughs> the crucible changed me. He has new choices new now. Possibilities. But I Eat can't it. make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. I see. That's its restriction. It could not alter itself. But be warned. Others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. Wait. That means that... But... Everything so far we've learned indicated that... Shepard was still organic. He was rebuilt by synthetics, but he is still organic. How does the crucible know this? Uh, the, the catalyst. How does he know Shepard is partly synthetic? The elusive man. Of course, they indoctrinated him. They know what he knows. Or it knows what he knew. I want details. What exactly what... will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. <sighs> there will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. So... Will it end the war? But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There, there is. is. Control. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. Dang it! Was he right all along? I don't believe that. I can't believe that. I cannot accept. No, he Shit. couldn't. The elusive, the elusive man was indoctrinated. Yes, How? But he could never have taken control because we already controlled him. There I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. But. The elusive man somehow knew about a way to control them. 
he somehow found out that the possibility was there. Did the Protheon... Uh, Vendetta, did he have information on this? <laughs> I don't understand. I control the Reapers if I'm dead. Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. You will no longer be organic. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain so he will aware be... of their existence. Shepard will become the new catalyst. He will lose. Whoa. What does controlling the Reapers gain? It. This cycle, the, and this entire thing is so artificial that it bothers me. It's... The Citadel was created by the Reapers, or this... Or by its predecessors, the, the organics that created the Citadel, that created the Catalyst, that created the Reapers. Long ago. Why? Out of fear for their own lives? Out of trying to look for a solution? Maybe it was a bad solution. Why why should we why should we accept that this device is the only like or is the source for the only solutions possible? Why should we accept that the ones eons before us were right in setting up the cycle so that well, they could never have known that the crucible would be developed. They could never have known that future generations, future organics would find a way to take over this cycle. No. I don't think I want to lose. We will not lose anything. It has no point to take control over the Reaper that will not fix anything. All it will do... All it will do is lead to the eventual destruction of the Reapers anyway. Shepard might not use them in the same way, but... In the end, will he have a choice? At some point, some race will find out what the real purpose is of the Citadel. He will find out that will find out the purpose of the the, the Reapers, or Shepard could just leave, leave forever. Shepard could just leave the galaxy be as it is and live its entire remaining life in solitude or destroy himself but again why would you do that why would you do that if he could end it here and now if he could just destroy the reapers and save perhaps himself save every the current races without any unknowns why would you do that no i'm not I losing anything like so i could give up everything i have and i do not look forward to being replaced by you but i would be forced to accept it 
Not if I refuse to do it. Indeed. There's another solution. Synthesis. What? And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. And the chain for what purpose? Will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework, a new DNA. <sighs> Whoa! How does that? <sighs> okay, I can't accept that that's possible. Somehow. Explain how but my energy can be added to the crucible. That there means is little time left, but I will try. That means that your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. Shepherd will die. To do what exactly? <laughs> The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Is there no way to Organics save him then? perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have exactly. tried a similar solution in the past. How? But it has always failed. Why? Because How? the organics Why? are not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I'm sorry, that makes absolutely no sense. First of all, he, a little bit earlier, he said that organics were more resourceful than he thought, but that there were new possibilities that arose with the arrival of the Crucible. That is why he now found another possibility, which he says is synthesis. He says... And now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable that we reach synthesis. And then you ask him, why haven't you tried it before? And he says that he did, but it has always failed. But how did you try it? If there was no crucible, this is the first time the crucible connected to the citadel. That is very clear. Since they thought that the design was eradicated, but it wasn't. He was surprised that it actually arrived. Synthesis makes no sense. It like he contradicts himself three times over. And then another thing, he says that we are ready. But how? How is Shepard ready? No. And then another thing. Why do we see him as a human? Why do we see him as the child? The child that we have seen on Earth get destroyed by a Reaper. A child that we try to save at the beginning of the game but couldn't we couldn't save him we could not the child itself said we couldn't save it or him or maybe that was it maybe that is a hint how about the dream sequences every time we reach a child, which pretty much means we tried to save him. He went up in flames. Which indicates that we couldn't. 
save him. He got destroyed by the fire, by the cleansing fire that he's trying to represent themselves. No. There is no way to save him. There is no way to save the Reapers. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. How about the conflict with Anderson and the elusive man? The elusive man was indoctrinated. How about these visions we just saw? The elusive man tried to take control but ultimately failed. Anderson tried to destroy in the vision we saw. And we don't know what happened to him. We have no idea what happened to Anderson, but we are 100% sure that the elusive man would fail. Maybe those are all hints to say, do not pick control. Maybe the hints of the child, the dream sequences, are all indication that you cannot choose synthesis because, <laughs> because it would end up not saving anyone it would not save the child it would not save what it stands for it would not, would not save order maybe that is exactly what it wants us to believe that's it. I think that's it. He wants, he doesn't want to be destroyed. He, he is trying to convince us to do something else. But he's trying to convince us of something that would benefit him the most. Not Shepard. Or the organics. The only option is to destroy. I don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? They are a part beside the point. Of Shepard. They are not. You must decide. Actually, no, I cannot live. I cannot imagine the life without synthetics. Look at the coins and the geth. They will er re reach immense heights. How about rejecting the choices? What does that do? They will just continue harvesting. No, that's exactly what he wants. He wants us to reject. He wants to continue doing. No, indeed he does. He actually does not. What he wants Sh Shepard to do is control or synthesis. Shepard has the choice to alter what is happening right now. If he does not do anything, the cycles will continue until the next organic that might possibly reach this this height, this this opportunity. But the catalyst will be watching out for more plans like the crucible. He will not allow a chance like that to happen again for a immense long time. So rejecting these choices is not a is not the right thing. Let's end this. I'm ready to. Let's get this over with. Do what you must. I will.
look at that view. I want to check that out. Their fleet is getting destroyed. I mean, he couldn't even... He couldn't even stop this, the destruction while we were talking. He, he, he doesn't want to listen to us. He, the only thing he's giving us is options that benefit him. Except for one. Control. No. Control is not a way. It will eventually lead to Shepard's death without any change. It's the same as doing nothing. It would just continue the cycle without change. Unless Shepard has a plan that we are not aware of. There, that he suddenly figures out something he suddenly figures out something that he can do with the reapers but in the end he would be forced to res resolve the conflict he would have to choose a side and destroy Synthetics or organics. <sighs> but if he destroys the Reapers, here's the thing with the imp with the intelligence. That Shepard has, has reached here at this point. He could very well save life itself if he shared the knowledge. If he made it so that organics did not attempt to create synthetics to the point where... To the point where they could be taken over or if they never gave synthetics the opportunity to, to evolve and if they did they would do know that they had to do everything to stop it from evolving they would not give the guest a second chance for example but even so look at the guest and the quarians no it is not the way. But then there is the synthesis option. Synthesis is perhaps the most intriguing one. And to be fair, I cannot accept it for the simple fact that it is it's the Deus Ex Machina of this game. It's it's too perfect. If it really resolves everything just by the sacrifice of shepherds, that's that's too convenient. That is the most stupid writing for the end of a trilogy, for the end. And if that is the ending that everyone choose chose when they got here, if that is What the hell? Oh. You have to be kidding me. Where do I... Oh. Wait, it's gone. It's gone. Well, forgive me for trying to give my explanations, game. Forgive me. But why is it gone? It's forcing us to make this decision. <sighs> 
if synthesis is truly the best solution to this game, then I cannot accept it. Anyone thinking or expecting me to do so because it is a so-called good ending? I'm sorry, I just can't do it. It's it's too convenient. It, even if this is why you had to collect all those war assets and everything, if this is why you had to get the maximum amount of points just to get that option, I cannot do it. For the simple reason that it would be too perfect, it would be... First of all, it wouldn't make sense within the Mass Effect universe. It, it would be... It would be Deus Ex, it would literally just change things to such a high extent that it would be artistic freedom to some extent, but... To be fair, no. What it would do is... It would disappoint me if that was a good ending. I have to try. I have to try. There's just no other way.